The road to parenthood was long and difficult for Juliana and Bill Rancic, but now it seems all that effort is finally paying off. When Juliana and Bill Rancic tied the knot in 2007, they already knew they wanted children. However, the couple decided to stay focused on their careers before starting a family. When Juliana turned 35, they believed it was time to start trying, but after some time passed, they learned that Juliana suffered from infertility. While that news was naturally heartbreaking for Juliana and Bill, they weren't about to give up. The Rancics went on a difficult infertility journey, during which they suffered a miscarriage, and Juliana took 63 IVF shots in a month. After three grueling years, the couple finally welcomed their first child, Edward Duke Rancic, via gestational surrogacy. Speaking to Parade in 2012, Juliana shared her experience of motherhood. She said, it's awesome. I knew it was going to be great, especially because we worked so hard at having a baby and we wanted a baby so bad, but it's even better than I expected. She continued by gushing about the day Duke was born. She told the magazine, That was truly the best day of my life. It just really teaches you so much about how resilient we are and how strong we are. So, it's safe to say that Juliana and Bill dote on their son, although we don't get to hear much about Duke since they value his privacy a great deal. But that doesn't mean he's not living life totally out of the spotlight. In an interview with People magazine, Juliana revealed that her five-year-old son was already speaking bits of Italian, Spanish, and English. As a native of Italy, Juliana couldn't be happier that Duke managed to perfectly mimic her accent. Meanwhile, her husband Bill shared that after Duke heard one of their helpers speaking in Albanian, he started singing in the language. And a lot of Duke's enthusiasm for languages comes from his parents, who want him to get the best out of every experience. Speaking to people in a separate interview, Juliana shared that they try to nurture their son's curiosity by creating a scavenger hunt in every place they visit. She explained, so when he is in New York City, he has to go to the top of the Empire State Building. He has to go to the Statue of Liberty. He's six, but we want him to experience these cities and really have some takeaway. It's experiential learning. She also shared a sweet story of how Duke asked her to record him doing one of her presentations. After he was done, Juliana asked if he would like to watch it back, but he refused and simply told her to air it on TV. And then there is the time this happened. People on that list. Tiffany's on the Sun list. <laughs> oh my god, Duke! I did not know Duke was right here. Hi! In an earlier People interview, she had shared that Duke believed she worked inside the TV. But when Juliana spoke to AOL in 2017, she revealed that Duke had grown to think she was a singer because he would see her singing at home. Juliana told AOL that she was glad her son believed this because she loved singing, and it seems like her passion carried forward to him. In a 2016 Us Weekly interview, Juliana shared that her four-year-old son already knew all the words to Bob Marley's Three Little Birds. She also spared some further details, saying, Some of the moms of the neighborhood come over and think it's so funny. We have a karaoke machine and he takes it very seriously. He sings every word. It's the cutest thing. The former E! News host added that her son wasn't afraid to socialize with adults. In her conversation with Us Weekly, Juliana shared that Duke was particularly fond of her assistant Sarah and would often smile at her and try to talk to her, but alas, he could only babble a few words. Juliana also told People that six-year-old Duke often went around at their restaurant chain, RPM, giving out cotton candy to customers in the middle of their main course. Duke also seems to have a creative side, which came out when he co-designed an Abercrombie kids line with his mother in 2019. Juliana told People that she got Duke's input on colors and consistently asked his opinion about the clothes to see how well they would work for children his age.